Sat Mutahir from uh, Insafez, Morocco. And of course, with uh, my uh, dear colleagues, Prof. Uh, Ahmed Hilal from uh, University of Nuzar, Morocco, and uh, Professor Mohammed uh, Wasaid from IMI, Mohammed Sex University in Rabat, Morocco. And uh, uh, with uh, Professor Haji Bakay from Insa Wajda, Morocco. So, firstly, I would like to, to thank all participants who are submitted their videos to this uh, workshop. And uh, I would like to inform you that uh, there is a, a special issue entitled Digital Technologies in Renewable Energy, which is attached to MDPE. Uh, to Journal of uh, Sustainability, uh, part of MDPI publisher with uh, um, uh, impact factor. And of course, is, uh, it is indexed in Web of Science and uh, Scopus. Therefore, I uh, encourage you to submit your uh, four paper to this special issue. Next, we will uh, uh, start uh, uh, presenting our uh, uh, received videos. And uh, we will start by the first one. Entitled A State of Art Review of uh, my Microgrid Control and Integration Aspects, presented by Abdrazak uh, Lawli. So, after finishing the, the, the first set of videos, now we will start uh, discussion. So, uh, if you have any questions, please post, uh, post uh, it in. Uh, in conversation or in uh, key air uh, section of Zoom tool. Ms. Sarah is here. Tell you your question are welcome. And uh, I wonder if you have uh, uh, any question. Abdul Haq uh, says, uh, can you share this dissimulation and diagram file, please? I'll have for which presentation you talk. So, uh, Within your question, I, I will start by me. I have. Uh, I wonder if Abdrazak is uh, is here with us. I I, I have a question for uh, Mr. Abdrazak. Uh, yes, I'm here. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank you, Abdrazak, for your uh, presentation, which is clear and uh, uh, well organized. So uh, I have a question for you. Uh, how we can use digital technologies such as embedded systems or uh, uh, machine learning in order to optimize the microgrid system? Oh, yes. Uh, for me, uh, seriously, I, I, uh, I use... I use you, you heard now? Yes, yes. yes. I use... Uh, no, no linear control, uh, not, uh, uh, I will, I will utilize uh, artificial, no, uh, but uh, for yet I, 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 I use only no linear control for microgrid. Yes, I understand. But how, how we can implement your method? How we can implement it to, to build a prototype? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, by using, uh, by using yes. uh, microcontroller or microprocessor or uh, we, uh, other uh, words? We, we. Uh, I, I use uh, two, two solutions, uh, such uh, DSP microcontroller and uh, FPGA. Carl? Uh, I think uh, you didn't present the result using the implementation in your uh, video. Not uh, no, not, not, not yet. So uh, I uh, I hope uh, that you will uh, get uh, good results uh, in order to, to write uh, a full paper and submit it to our uh, special uh, issue 
uh, which is uh, organized uh, by uh, MDPI publisher. And uh, I'm the guest editor. You are welcome to submit your uh, four people after uh, including your uh, experimental results. Uh, Thank many thanks, Adrzak, for your answer. And uh, I wonder if uh, uh, any other person have uh, a questions for you. I will check in uh, QR section. I mean, I mean, hello. Any continent about uh, ask you, Abdrazak? I think uh, any continent about artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning, uh, data analytic, big data, cloud computing, blockchain, internet of things, as announced on the website. Uh, I think this question is not for uh, Abdrazak. Uh, I didn't understand this question. Uh, for uh, Abdurrahman bin Salim, uh, ask you, uh, and what are the major problems that require it use? For what? Uh, Abdurrahman bin Salim, ask you, what are the ma major problems that require its use? Uh, I think he, uh, he talked about uh, about uh, digital technologies, uh, what is the need behind you using it in your uh, system? I think. Yes, the, wait, the, most, the, the most problem is the, uh, the, the integration, the integration, the algorithm. And uh, 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 he asked you another question. Does artificial intelligence find, find an important place in microgrids? Um, yes, yes. A very important place in microgrids. So uh, many thanks, Sadr Zak, for uh, your answers. Uh, and uh, I would like to thank you, uh, thank you an uh, another time for your clear presentation. and. Uh, uh, I wish you all the best for uh, for the the next uh, works. Now Thank I will uh, start discussion for the second uh, video entitled "Advanced Power Electronics Design for Solar Energy." Uh, so I uh, invite uh, participants to post their question uh, for uh, Professor Aziza. And within your question, I, I will start by me. I have a question for Professor Aziza. I wonder if uh, she is with us. Uh, hello, everybody. Hello. Thank you, Thank you very much for your uh, invitation. Uh, yes, uh, I am here uh, if you have any question. Many thanks, Professor Aziza. Firstly, I would like to, to thank you for your uh, videos. Uh, for, which is uh, clear and uh, uh, full of information uh, uh, as uh, using MPPT algorithm and solar tracker. And uh, I have a question about uh, the MPPT algorithm, which uh, you you, you, ha uh, you have implemented using Proteus uh, simulation and the Arduino board. Uh, I wonder which algorithm you have used to optimize the PV energy, perturb and observe incremental conductors or other algorithm? Uh, we used the uh, 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 observer. Perturb and observe? Yes, yes. Uh, and why you have uh, used the uh, uh, Arduino board and instead of other uh, uh, embedded board? Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I wonder why you, you have to uh, use it, uh, Arduino Uno board instead of other uh, another uh, embedded board. <laughs> uh, this is a good question <laughs> uh, because uh, okay, as, uh, first of all, I want to, to precise that uh, this work is uh, done by and built by my students at Royal Navy School, and uh, for military reason, they can they can't. Uh, present themselves this work because they can't uh, participate in conference, etc. And uh, they use they use the uh, Arduino because uh, the for for uh, at this moment uh, the the 
the, at, the one uh, uh, logistics they know uh, for this moment. And uh, uh, maybe after we can uh, use other uh, uh, logistics. Okay, Professor Ariza, many thanks for your uh, answer. And uh, I, I congratulate you for the, the work done another time. I, I will check if uh, there is any question for you. Thank you. There is a question from uh, Abdul Munaim Khalouk. What kind of controller you are using for the control? PI controller, PI. PI controller. Yes. Uh, in order, I, I think you, you have used PI controller in order to find the, the duty cycle using mm -hmm. uh, the yeah. voltage generated by perturbant observe. Good. Yes. So uh, I, I thank you. I, I would like to thank you for uh, your uh, presentation and uh, your answers for our uh, questions. And uh, now I start uh, discussion with uh, Miss Sarah. I wonder if uh, she is with us. Yes, Sarah is here, but by chat, I think. So uh, I will check if uh, there is any question for, for you. I am here. I can. Uh, I can hear you. Thank you. Uh, my, my question. Uh, firstly, I would like to congratulate you for your video, which is well, well done. I <coughs> would like to congratulate for your English level. Uh, oh, thank you so much. And uh, my question is about uh, the use of uh, digital technologies. If uh, uh, we can use. Uh, 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 for example, uh, machine learning in order to estimate uh, uh, the performance of uh, your uh, system. Uh, using uh, using machine learning uh, for for what task? Yes, using machine learning. If uh, uh, I, I wonder if you, you uh, we can use uh, machine learning on. Uh, uh, deep learning in order to estimate the uh, the performance of your system? Uh, yes, uh, of course, uh, because uh, uh, my uh, domain is the reliability of PV systems, including uh, solar modules and uh, also uh, PV inverters, reliability of different components of the PV system. Uh, recently, there are many methods uh, which use the deep learning and the machine learning techniques in order to uh, determine the reliability of, uh, especially uh, reliability of PV modules, uh, because there is some uncertainty in uh, in the different failure modes of uh, PV modules. We know that uh, a PV module has different failure modes. There are some uh, failure mechanisms which are uh, steady, uh, which which can can be determined, uh, such as a linear degradation, for example. Uh, the failure mode of encapsulant browning is a linear failure mechanism. Uh, its failure rate is uh, just determined. It can be uh, known, but there are some catastrophic failures. There are some uh, failures which occur uh, just accid accident accidentally. Uh, we cannot predict them. Uh, so there are many techniques which use uh, machine learning. There are uh, there is some uh, probability model uh, relied on pr probability models such as Petri networks. Uh, so there are many uh, things uh, involved here that has relation with uh, machine learning. Like, uh, like we can predict uh, which failures can occur in any time. Yes, I understand you. And I wonder if you are work on, uh, working on it. Uh, yes, uh, there is some uh, part of my PhD thesis, which is related to Petri networks. OK, you have uh, prepared your four paper or not yet? Uh, in fact, I had uh, I have one paper uh, realized. I have also uh, I have uh, published one in IEEE, uh, which is um, about reliability of PV inverters. Uh, 
and the impact of uh, PV panel orientation on, uh, on the reliability of PV inverters. In fact, on uh, the energy production and the reliability of PV inverters. And now I have to realize uh, another paper on uh, focused on PV modules. Okay, many thanks, uh, Ms. Sarah, for your uh, answers. And uh, another time, I would like to congratulate you for uh, the work done. And uh, now I uh, uh, will start discussion with uh, uh, Ms. Khadija. We are here. Uh, I will come, Ms. Khadija. And yes. uh, firstly, I would like to thank you for uh, uh, Ms. Sarah, I, 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 I ask you to deactivate your micro, please. And many thanks another time for your uh, presentation. And uh, I would like to congratulate uh, Ms. Khadija for... Uh, I can't hear anything. I'm sorry. So uh, I will uh, start now discussion with uh, Miss Khadija. Uh, firstly, I would like to congratulate you for uh, the work done and uh, and uh, your uh, well prepared presentation. I will check if mm -hmm. there is any question for you. Uh, I have the, for, for me, I have the same uh, question uh, about the use of uh, machine learning or deep learning in order to to, to estimate uh, weather condition uh, for uh, your system. If you, you, you have uh, already think about that uh, and uh, the need behind using uh, digital technologies such as uh, deep learning in order to estimate uh, the, the performance of your system. <clears throat> Can you repeat the question? Uh, my question is, uh, is about uh, the use of digital technologies in your, uh, in your work, such as, uh, for example, in, in your uh, work, you have presented numerical investigation. Uh, which which uh, tool you have used in order to, um, uh, to implement uh, your algorithm? MATLAB simulating. Oui, oui. Okay. Uh, the numerical calculation can is uh, developers using a MATLAB programming language. Language, we oui. yes. Yeah, why you have uh, using uh, uh, simulating instead of Python uh, uh, programming, for example? Why? Uh, this work consists of a numerical study of solar steel. The transfer equation, transfer equation were solved using a iterative, iterative range quota method because the heat and the mass transfer coefficient are a function of the temperature of the different components of the solar seed, which are unknowns in the problem. Thank you. Uh, just I, I would like to, to recommend uh, to you the use of uh, of uh, some method of uh, machine learning in order to to do the same work i think you will find uh, good results uh, just to 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 publish a, or to build a, a good uh, paper in order to 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 publish it in an our special issue if you are interested by publishing your four paper in it uh, I think uh, there is any question for you. I think uh, your work is very clear for uh, our participants. Uh, but uh, there is a question from Abdurrahman bin Salim about uh, microgrid. I think this question is for Abdurrahman. 
can we use a combination of power management with supervisor controller in microgrid? And does this combination have a good place in microgrid controller? Abzak, you you still with us or? Uh, This question is for you. Can you, uh, hello? Can you repeat the question, please? Uh, the, the question is from Abdul Rahman. Uh, he asks you about microgrid. Uh, if uh, can we use a combination of power management with the spiver controller in microgrid, and does this combination have a good place in microgrid controller? Uh, the the management and uh, the monitoring of the microgrid. Uh, yes. Uh, for for part of the, the microgrid, uh, we have. Uh, three layers for uh, control. Energy management system uh, is the third layer of uh, control. Uh, uh, not, uh, but uh, for, 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 for supervision, I, I'm not using it yet. Okay. Uh, so many thanks, Abdurazak, for your uh, answer. Uh, so Thank after you. finishing the fourth set of videos with presentation and discussion, now we will start the second set of videos. And we will start by the first presentation entitled Multi-Objects Have Adaptative Acceleration uh, Coefficient PSO partial swarm optimization algorithm for optimal simultaneous integration of multiple photovoltaic DG and they start come in microgrid system presented by Mr. Adil Nasmari. Let's start it. Hello everybody. I have the honor to present the work entitled Multi-Objective Adaptive Acceleration Coefficient Particle Swarm Optimization Algorithm for Optimal Simultaneous Integration of Multiple Photovoltaic Distributed Generation and Distribution Static Compensator in Microgrid System. Here is the summary of my presentation which introduced by Introduction, Problem Formulation and Constraint Multi-objective adaptive acceleration coefficient PSO test microgrid system analyzes the simulation results and finally conclusion. Introduction: The optimal integration of DG into distribution network provides significant economical and operational benefits, such as the reduction in power loss, improvement in system stability and reliability. This paper presents an optimal integration of PVDG and this.com into microgrid system using adapti adaptive PSO algorithm based the varying acceleration coefficient for the minimization of active power loss, short circuit current, and total voltage variation. Problem formulation and constraints. Many objective functions are used to optimally allocate the DG and this.com into the microgrid system. In this work, the three objective functions are considered the active power loss, the short circuit current, and total voltage variation, which can be represented in the following equation. The distribution line constraints considered in this work are represented in this slide. Also for the DG and DSATCOM constraints. Figure 1 represents the operation of the multi-objective particle swarm optimization in microgrid. In this section, we will discuss about the multi-objective adaptive acceleration coefficient PSO, where the time-varying acceleration coefficients are depicted in Table 1. Test microgrid system. The proposed various multi-objective PSO are tested on two AEEE standard distribution microgrid system which are represented in figure 2. The daily load demand and PVDG power output variation are assumed to follow the curve represented in figure 3 and 4 respectively. In this section, we will discuss about the analysis the simulation results. 
as shown in figure 5, the integration of DG and this that comes simultaneously have a superiority to achieve the best results compared to other cases. Noted that this observation is still valid for the second test system, which represents in figure 6. The result depicted in table 2 proved the efficiency of the multi-objective APG algorithm in terms to achieve the best results compared to other algorithms. Same observation for the ae 69 bus. Figure 7 represents the bus voltage in 24 hours before and after the integration of DG and this.com. For both microgrid systems, the comparison between the bus case and after the integration of DG and this.com proved the efficiency of the installation of DG and this.com, which provide a noticeable improvement in the voltage profile, especially between 8 and 19 o'clock. Figure 8 shows that there is a significant reduction of the active power loss in almost all branches. This reduction is due to the active power injected from DG and the reactive power injected from this.com. As shown in Figure 8, for both test systems, whatever the device installed, the short circuit current have improved compared to the basic case, with a superiority of the installation of DG and this.com. Noted that the best results are obtained at 13 o'clock because in this hour the DG delivered her maximum power. Conclusion In this paper, a comparison among a set of the multi objective adaptive acceleration coefficients PSU has been investigated to resolve the problem of optimal location of DG and this.com by taking into account the load demand and the power output of DG instantaneously during every hour of the day. Results obtained by the multi-objective APG algorithm show that the simultaneous allocation of DG and this.com significantly reduced the power loss and enhanced the voltage profile in microgrid. Thank you for your attention. Uh, so after finishing <coughs> the first uh, Presentation of uh, the second set of videos. Now we will start the second one. Hello, in this presentation, I'm going to present my project entitled water purifying this year with the cooling system controlled by a photovoltaic panel first of all let me please to introduce to you the summary this is about a small project which consists to designate and purificate sea water equipped by a cooling system powered with an automatic photovoltaic panel sun for lower it's a cheap design, simple and robust, adapted to the needs and specificities of our vast country. Next step is about giving a quick talk of the problematic. By 2022, water consumption is expected to increase by 40% and half. The planet will lack clean water. Today, no less than 900 million people don't have access to drinking water. Each year, 8 million people, including about 2 million children, die from pathologies linked to the conception of unsanitary water, diarrhea, cholera, typhoid, malaria, etc. For this fact, I have been encouraged to think about a solution, seawater, Desalination system. Now let's go to look about the function. As you can see, this is the synaptic schema of seawater desaler. We have the device of saline water, inputs thermal energy, outputs is fresh water. In the next slide, I'm going to explain the working principle of my prototype. As you can see, we have seawater in the stainless steel container. We get vapor by boiling seawater. Thanks to the thermal source, 
In this experience, I used the button bottle. The vapor passed through the Cooper tube, changing the state by condensation phenomena to fresh water then passed through the activated carbon filter. To ensure the elimination of flavors, chemical residues and some heavy metals. Finally, we can get red drops of fresh water. The cooling system is designed to guarantee a base condensation of vapor. In fact, without this system, we will lose the drops of fresh water outside the Cooper tube. This cooling system is composed of 5 volts ventilator powered by a couple of 3.7 batteries tip 18650 powered itself by a photovoltaic panel to optimize maximum orientation of this panel I use an SG09 servo motor controlled by two photoresistors true and Arduino Nano impacts first one is make the production of good quality, fresh water from salt water, easy and economical. Second one is developing a simple solar desalination technology by meeting the very diverse criteria and context of our vast country. Now let's move on to explain the evaporation phenomenon. Surface where the molecules to the surface gradually pass from one state to another. Physical description, the steady state of single species system is described by Rankine's formula. When the partial pressure of the vapor in the gas is lower than the saturated vapor pressure, some of the molecules pass from the liquid phase to the gas phase. It's evaporation which requires to the sampling of the corresponding latent heat for a closed system. This has the effects of cooling the liquid. This phenomenon is described by the hertz knudsen relation given the mass flow per unit of area. Where Ps is the saturated vapor pressure, M is the molar mass, alpha less than 1. Conclusion the role of this prototype is to give a clear vision of the importance of using the renewable energies, for example, solar energy. As a key milestone to solve the problem of the scarcity of drinking water in certain critical areas and in the rest of the world in general. Indeed, the use of solar energy offers a gigantic pure source and reliable with low costs. In addition, we must highlight the urgency to take the benefit that nature offers such as the use of the activated carbon to purifying drinking water. This prototype is under improvement to ensure a max of performance. Thank you, Miss, for this video. Now I will start the third presentation entitled Comparative Study of Photovoltaic Parameters Extraction Technique, which will be presented by uh, Mr. Isa. Hello, everybody. My name is Issa Hali. I am a PhD student study at the Laboratory of Renewable Energy and Business System and Data Processing. The topic of this presentation is Comparative Study of Photovoltaic Parameters Extraction Technique. This presentation is organized as flower. Firstly, I do like to start by introduction. Secondly, I do like to explain model of photovoltaic cell. Next, I do like to explain proposed method. Next, I do like to show you results and discussion. Finally, I will conclude this presentation. This work uh, proposed method of parameters determination is based on the solution to block algorithm for solving a nonlinear equation system. It should be noted that this nonlinear system of equation to be solved included a new simple equation expressed as a function of one known parameter 
does not require any initialization of this parameter. The simulation results show that the proposed restriction to glue algorithm based method is moreover accurate than other recent methods. This proposed method apply in single diode model equation successively to the three remarkable points. The single diode model is essentially a semiconductor junction when exposed to light, a direct current is generated. The current generated by the photovoltaic cell is given by the following equations as function of five electrical parameters. The typical photovoltaic current is presented in the following tables as function of voltage, which shows nonlinear behavior and the three remarkable points. Based on the three remarkable points, one can generate the system nonlinear as function of the five known electrical parameters. The system solved using simple algorithm, which is the restriction dog log algorithm. The proposed technique based on the restriction dog log algorithm is applied to RTC solar fronts, silicon solar cell. The extracted parameters values are presented in this table and compared with the found recent works for the sun solar cell. These figures represent the comparison between experimental data and current voltage and the power voltage characteristic considered the optimized set of extracted parameters. The obtained results show a good agreement between experimental data and the simulated current voltage. In order to confirm the accuracy of the extracted parameters values, this statistical error is used in this analysis. The minimal value of the statistical error indicates the parameters identified are close to the real ones. As can seen, the trist region dog log algorithm based method previewed the minimal value of the statistic standard deviations and the minimal value of relative error compared to recent and most accurate methods. A similar study to the photovoltaic cell is made for photovoltaic module. This table presents the extracted parameters values compared with this and recent works for the same photovoltaic module. These uh, figures represent the comparison between experimental data and calculated current voltage and the power voltage considered the optimized set of expected parameters. As can see, uh, the trist region dog log algorithm based method previews the minimal value of uh, standard deviations and the minimal value of uh, relative error and individual error compared to recent and most accurate method. As conclusion, in this work, we have proposed the sample method of photovoltaic parameters extraction, which is required few selected points, and the current voltage characteristic of the PV panel is good accuracy has been proven in one hand by the good agreement between experimental current and simulated one using the extracted parameters, one on the other hand by the low statistical error. Thank you for your attention. You are welcome. So now we will start the next presentation and uh, it is inside let's uh, study of the soaring effects on pv plant performance and definition of the optimal cleaning protocol presented by mr mohammed amin bye bye let's start it hello everyone i'm mohammed amin bye bye i am phd students in renewable energy uh, in industrial Engineering Laboratory at University Sultan Mulay Sliman, especially in the Faculty of Science and Technic Dimlal. First of all, I will thank you for this opportunity that you give me to present my work, and also I will present my supervisor, uh, Sir Mabruki Mustafa. 
Without delay, I will start by revealing to you my work plan, exactly in study of the sign effects on PV plants performance and definition of the optimal cleaning protocol. As you say, as a plan, I have summary, introduction, problematic, uh, experimentation and results, and finally conclusion. Many research and studies have been developed in order to increase the efficiency of the solar technology as photovoltaic. The PV panels are characterized with high transmissions factor to transmit the sunlight to the solar cells. The results of the study show that solar accumulation on the surface has badly affected their efficiency and performance. The solen is the weakness exposure of the solar plants. It badly affects the solar field performance, which leads to energetic and economic losses. Furthermore, to get rid of solen on the PV surface, unpersoned quantity of water are required in addition to the switchable cleaning device for each technology. In what follows, I will discuss first the device for solen measurements and factor affection, then the impacts of solen on the solar plants. Soling mechanism on PV surface. Generation and deposition are two main phases that soling goes through before it uh, reaches the solar panel surface. Then comes addition and removal. The following schema shows the life cycle of soling particle. Thus, for example, from generation until removal. Effects of uh, soling on PV panels. First of all, measurement of soling and to factor effects into soling rates. Soling deposition, such as aerosol or dust, can be measured using multiple devices. The most used are uh, the tracking cleaning sensor and to reflectometer for soling rates and mirror reflectivity measurement for CSP plants and to current voltage curve transfer for PV application. Secondly, impact of soling on solar plants. Many research and study were done in order to refer to effects of soling on photovoltaic panels. In fact, soling can absorb an important part of the incident lights, which affects the electrical performance of the solar cells. It causes a remarkable reduction in the transmit uh, transmission uh, coefficients on the PV panels. The study inv uh, investigates uh, showed clearly that uh, the transmission coefficients loss rise when the dust density goes uh, up due to time and uh, weather condition. That means uh, the dust pre uh, prevents the photon energy to reach the solar sun cell that's weak, uh, weakened to photovoltaic conversion. On the other hand, solar deposition on PV panels serve as a thermal barrier from the sun insulation, what leads them to be called several degrees. This cooling may increase the open circuit voltage, but it decreases the short circuit currents. Uh, the panel's surface cleanliness is related to soaring rates, which is dependent on weather data, wind speed, relative humidity, and wind direction. Research showed that to faster to wind is to clean the surface, are especially for to dry dust, but a high relative humidity level causes this particle to more likely stick onto panels and hardly removed by wind only, what makes soaring more severe on surface. Thus, many cleaning technologies have been invented to serve an efficient cleaning technical and economical. Actually, cleaning methods are divided into three main processes. First of all, handmade cleaning, semi-automatic cleaning technology, and automatic cleaning technology. The analysis of the solar ratio variation necessitates to be joined to the precipitation data. The, the reference solar ratio of the cleaning panel was taken equal to 0.9. Uh, the figure below represents the solar ratio variation and the precipitation during this uh, period. As we say, from this graph, it can be clearly noticed that uh, the solar ratio for uh, the non cleaning panel has uh, reduced from 0.97 on, on the first month uh, July uh, to uh, 0.6 uh, into August which signify a reduction of 20% uh, of the electrical output. Uh, well, for the weekly cleaning panel, soling has not really affected the electrical output. Uh, on, to on to August or uh, September, uh, the soling ratio increased with 10% uh, due to rainy days 
uh, what refers to an increase in electrical outputs. Then is uh, start to decrease linearly when no uh, where uh, when uh, no watching occurs. Uh, the daily average drop into solar ratio for uh, the non-clinic panel is about 0.13 percent from uh, July uh, to August. Um, this uh, difference between two two periods can be explained by uh, rain that acts as a natural cleaner. Uh, furthermore, to emphasize the role of the rain, an amount of precipitation of uh, 0.4 millimeters was uh, recorded at uh, to September, uh, or 0.7 millimeter, where the solar ratio has significantly uh, increased to reach to value uh, 0.9 which means, again, of 70% uh, into electrical output. Uh, from this uh, investigation, we can conclude that the weekly client panel uh, shows uh, satisfying results in terms of electrical outputs during all this period in uh, comparison with uh, the non-clinic uh, non one, where the short current widely diminishes. So results show that high colonial frequency is very efficient in terms of energetic gain. But it is very costly, hence the need to find a compromise between to cleaning frequency and to economic gain. In large solar plants, it is necessary to adopt automatic cleaning device to reduce the cleaning costs in terms of water consumption and labor cost. Furthermore, during the winter, where the precipitation are important sometimes, it is recommended to cancel to cleaning schedule if the mirror or panel are already cleaned naturally by the rain. So uh, after finishing the, f the second set of videos, now we will start uh, discussion for them. I wonder if uh, Miss Adil is uh, with us. I will check if there is any question for the first video. So. The presenter of the first uh, video, uh, I wonder if uh, he is with us. Uh, please raise your hand, Mr. Adil, if you are here. I think... Uh, yes, I'm here. Did you win? Yes, yes, Mr. Adil. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, firstly, I would like to thank you for uh, for your work, which is uh, uh, very interesting. Uh, it is true that the use of uh, partial swarm optimization algorithm in order to optimize uh, your system is uh, of interest. But uh, I have a, a, a question for you: What, why you have uh, used uh, this? algorithm instead of other uh, more recent uh, metaheuristic methods such as uh, uh, artificial bee colony optimization or uh, ant colony optimization but algorithm etc i i already made the the research which uh, with the other uh, multi objective uh, algorithm such as sarp uh, sarp swarm algorithm and slime uh, mold algorithm but uh, the basic P the PSO is uh, can uh, be simply to implement it and uh, have a few parameters to adjust. Also have a high uh, probability and efficiency in finding the global optima. So it's easy to uh, implement it. Many thanks, Adil, for your answer. Uh, but uh, did you uh, think that if you you will use a hybrid method, uh, for example, PSO with uh, fuzzy logic controller, which will be the method do, uh, which will uh, give you the, the, the better result? Uh, hybrid method or PSO? Yes, 
hybrid uh, method uh, give uh, more efficiency uh, okay. in the results. So uh, I will check if there is uh, any question for you. I think uh, there is. Zakaria ask you what is the objective function used in optimal integration? Uh, the objective function uh, is a multi-objective function uh, considered the, the total active power, the minimization of the total active power loss and the minimization of the short circuit current and also the minimization of uh, the total voltage variation. Okay. Uh, and what is the algorithm used in uh, the, the part uh, optimal integration? Uh, I uh, use the, the time varying acceleration coefficient, coefficient PSO, uh, which uh, is uh, uh, the APG algorithm and the uh, not and, and the RC algorithm. We, in this study, we uh, uh, it's a PSO which. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, I, I think that you have uh, used it because you have multi-objective, uh, uh, you have uh, more than one objective. Yes, uh, because for this we uh, choose uh, the multi-objective uh, PS. Okay, uh, and uh, did you have uh, start the, the build of your prototype or not yet? Uh, not yet. Not yet. So uh, I think there is another question for you from Selma. Uh, have you considered the fact that uh, AC should have an upper limit to minimize the voltage variation? Because a grid with a weak uh, AC is a weak grid which uh, creates instability. I uh, didn't. Uh... Please uh, uh, repeat the. Uh, uh, the question of Selma, uh, have you con considered the fact that uh, AC should have an upper limit to minimize the voltage variation? Uh, Selma, what do you mean by AC? Yes, I, I already uh, make, made the, the constraint limits of voltage, which uh, is uh, considered uh, plus, plus or minus uh, 5%. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, uh, the, the reason behind the question of Selma, uh, she told that because a grid with a weak AC is a weak grid, which grid instability, short circuit current. AC uh, uh, means uh, short circuit current. I, uh, short circuit. She is talking about the algorithm. Yes. The performance of algorithm or uh... Uh, she, she asks about uh... Selma uh, she has the uh, uh, mic unmute she can talk Selma you can talk Okay, I think uh, I will uh, start uh, the second uh, presentation. And uh, af after that, I would like to thank uh, Adil for, uh, for the, the video and uh, your answers, many thanks. And I wish you all the best for the next work, inshallah. Uh, so now we will start discussion of the second video uh, presented by Miss Camilla. <coughs> I wonder if Camilla is uh, is here with us. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. So uh, firstly, I would like to, to to congratulate you for the work done, uh, especially the use of uh, of the control algorithm uh, using to. To, to control uh, the panel uh, with, the, with the, the help of uh, a servo motor controlled by Arduino Nano. But I have a question for you. Why you didn't use any DC-DC converter between the PV panel and the battery? Yeah. 
Yes, I used one, but it's uh, not in the schema. Okay, which uh, DC DC converter you have uh, used? Which kind? Back converter uh, or uh, boost? Back boost? Speak. Back converter. Back converter, and uh, it is controlled with uh, uh, which uh, controller? Which uh, regulator? Regulator? Yes, uh, you you you, con you you control the DC DC converter with uh, uh, any controller uh, in order to to optimize or to regulate uh, the voltage uh, of the PV panel to be uh, stored in. I the power is it cheap? Okay. This yes. Okay. Direct scanning. Uh, I will check if there is any question for you. Uh, yeah. Ala, uh, question for Camilla. What is the temperature required for evaporation of or, or for your heat source? Do you char uh, characterize the quality of the water? Question is for you, Camilla. Camilla, did you hear us? No, I uh, I don't hear uh, the question. Okay, I will repeat, repeat it for you. Yes, yes, of yeah. course. Uh, what is the temperature required for evaporation or for your heat source? This is the first question. And the second question, do you characterize the quality of the water? First question. Okay, what, uh, what? yeah, uh, for all atmosphere, uh, is working. Camilia so asked the thermal, you because I use thermal source. Yes. Uh, Britain, I use it Britain source as thermal source. Just uh, give a study for the working principle of the protocol. Mm -hmm. uh, but however, improvement section, I will of course take advantage of free energy and put solar panel as thermic source to boil water. Okay, uh, many thanks for uh, for your answer. And uh, yeah. I think there is another question for you uh, from Amin. Uh, what is the heat source used for your prototype? A thermal source. Sorry, I didn't hear you. A thermal source. Thermal source, okay. I use it uh, with some source, a thermal source. Okay, many thanks for your uh, answers, Camilla. And uh, another time, I would like to congratulate you for the work done. Then uh, uh, I wonder if you, ha you have uh, already prepared your four people about this presentation. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready to, I published in, uh, my article recently. Okay, congratulations for, uh, for the presentation. So now we will uh, start the next uh, uh, the next video about uh, cooperative study of photovoltaic parameters ec uh, extra direction uh, uh, techniques uh, presented by uh, Mr. Isa. So I wonder if Mr. Isa is uh, yes, I am here. Us. Uh, welcome, Mr. Reza, and I would like to congratulate you for the presentation and the work done. Uh, so, I have uh, one question for you. Uh, did you know that uh, PCM tool and uh, MATLAB Simulink uh, software provide uh, a tool in order to extract the PV parameters? Did you know that? Yes. Uh, why you didn't co compare your results with uh, the results? Can you repeat the uh, questions? Why you didn't you didn't compare the your results 
mm -hmm. with clear results. The results of PC utility and the PV panel array uh, provided in Simulink. Donc, j'utilise la comparaison entre les autres méthodes qui est méthode heuristique. Donc, la question, c'est pourquoi je compare, c'est ça. Pourquoi tu n'as pas comparé les, tes résultats avec les résultats euh, de, de, de l'outil fourni par PCIM et l'outil fourni par Simulink Parce qu'il y a déjà deux outils dedans. Un outil dans PCIM qui permet d'extraire de, les paramètres d'un panneau photovoltaïque et un autre dans MATLAB qui permet de faire la même chose. Et en principe, ce sont des outils déjà validés, déjà euh, vérifiés, qui sont très robustes, très performants. Du coup, je, je me demande, qu'est-ce que qu tu que as, as ajouté par rapport à ces outils C'est juste une question. Ou bien, qu'est-ce oui. que tu comptes ajouter à la littérature par rapport à ces outils donc cette méthode est simple, il utilise juste trois points, donc on a quatre, et ça est fast, donc il vite. Et ça l'ajoute très rapide. J'espère. Et aussi précise par rapport à les autres méthodes qui utilisent cet algorithme génétique. Donc c'est une méthode simple, qu'on peine entre numérique et analytique, car il y a une équation qui est analytique et qui n'est pas consomme beaucoup de taux. Euh, aussi, c'est une méthode uh, Also, I, I, I will uh, I invite you to invite you to to, to test uh, your uh, your uh, methods with uh, experimental results using a PV panel, a real PV panel and uh, some uh, tool of uh, instrumentation and collect data and uh, then you You use this data in order to extract uh, uh, the PV panel parameters. Just uh, this is just a recommendation uh, from me. Uh, so I would like to thank you another time for your work and your presentation, which is well, uh, well done and well uh, organized. And now I will start discussion for the uh, the final uh, video with uh, Mr. Mohammed Amin, and I wonder if uh, there is a... Yes, I'm here. If uh, he's with us, welcome. You are welcome, uh, Mr. Amin. Thank you. I think uh, there is a, a lot of questions for you in uh, key air section of uh, Zoom tool. I will uh, check for you. So the first one is from Ala. Uh, can we know where the ex experiment was conducted and what type of meteorological data is used satellite or ground measurement and also the second uh, question and also the technology of the pv used monocrystalline polycrystalline etc uh, ground measurements and we use uh, uh, we used uh, the first pv grade connection in based on uh, h monocrystalline silicon pv model Up to uh, time module plus uh, from the solar world uh, to model are connected on series making at peak power of two uh, kilowatt injected to the grid troughs on uh, SMA uh, two two hundred two thousand inverter second installation installation based on uh, H polycrystal and silicon PV models and the third PV plants consist of. Uh, 12 amorph silicon module of uh, two brand next power, uh, which is output of uh, 155 uh, watts per module. Look, we have uh, three family of uh, monocrystalline, polycrystalline, uh, monocrystalline, excuse me, uh, and uh, uh, monocrystalline, polycrystalline, and amorph. Mm -hmm. Three technology. Uh, many, thank, uh, ma, ma, many thanks, Mohamed Amin, for your answer. There is uh, another uh, question from uh, Miss Sarah. How Solin can affix the degradation rate of PV modules and how the location of an installation affects the Solin rate of the modules, of the PV panels? Can you repeat the question? Okay, of course. 
the first question I think, how soiling can affect the degradation rates of PV panels? This is the first question. And the second, how the location of uh, installation affects the soiling rates of the PV panel? Did you understand the question? I think that uh, Mr. Mohammed Amin uh, is not uh, with us. Therefore, I think uh, that I will uh, I will start the third uh, set of videos. Please, uh, there is uh, someone who has raised in his hand. Okay. Dr. Lazar. I'm unable to find it, Mr. Aziz. Dr. Lazar. Kautar? Lazar. Lazar. She has raised in her, her hand. Yes, uh, for which uh, reason? Uh, she, she she has a question or maybe so are we waiting for Miss Kauta? She can, she can uh, ask. I am your chair. Okay, we are we waiting for Miss Kauta? Hello. Hello. Uh, sorry for uh, to be delayed. I'm just to. I want to ask Mr. Adil Lasmari for the first uh, presentation. He has used the PSO algorithm, and I want to ask him if um, he has already used the genetic algorithm for opti for multi-objective optimization. Okay, uh, Miss uh, Miss uh, Qatar, for uh, your intervention. Many thanks for your question. So uh, I wonder if uh, Mr. Adil uh, still with us? Yes, uh, I. So thank you for the question. I. I didn't use the, the genetic, uh, the multi-objective genetic uh, algorithm. I didn't use it. Okay, um, there is um, uh, simple to use PSO or genetic algorithm for multi-objective optimization. Which is of them it's simple? I think uh, the PSO algorithm is simple. Uh, because I think that uh, both of them use the objective function you must to identify the objective function and then make in the simul simulation. I, Am I right? Please repeat, I didn't uh, hear you. I, I asked you that uh, both of the algorithm used or uh, should use the objective function. Why the PSO is simple uh, than a genetic algorithm? I didn't use the genetic algorithm, by, but... Uh... The PSO is uh, simple to implement it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Adil, and I thank you a lot for your uh, presentation. Thank you for you. So, uh, many thanks, Ms. Kautar, for your uh, intervention, and uh, Mr. Adil for your uh, answer. Thank you. Now we will start the third uh, set of videos. And uh, we will start by the first video entitled The Pre Treatment Solar Drying of Truffle, presented by okay. Mr. Zakaria. So, after finishing the first uh, video, now we will start the second one. Mm. 
entitled Evolution of Electrical Networks Towards Smart Grid, presented by uh, Miss Sakina Amari. So nice. So now we will uh, start the next presentation. Entitled Proteus model for a PV system. This case of classical MPPT algorithm presented by Mr. Belhaj Shkel Afari. The last presentation entitled Analysis of the Influence of Grid Availability on the Energy Production of the 5 Megawatt Solar Photovoltaic Plant in Balbaza, Niger. So after finishing the third set of videos, now we we'll start uh, discussion. Uh, I will check if there is uh, any question for our presenters. So I will start by uh, uh, the presentation of uh, Isaka. Mr. Isaka, uh, uh, are you with, uh, with us? I think uh, it is a problem. Uh, he is not available. So uh, I will start uh, my question uh, for uh, Mr. Belhaj Kalafari. I wonder if uh, you are with us. Hello, I'm here for any questions. Many thanks, uh, Mr. Belhash. Firstly, I would like to congratulate you for the, the work done. Thank you. Uh, and uh, the implemented uh, algorithm and the use. It is true that the use of Proteus uh, simulation is of interest uh, that uh, give, uh, give us uh, the opportunity to use uh, uh, controller such as microcontroller, microprocessor uh, in uh, this tool. Instead of using MATLAB or PCM, uh, we don't have this uh, opportunity. This is the, the, the advantage of using uh, Proteus instead of uh, another tool of uh, simulation. And uh, my question is about uh, the, the variation of temperature. Uh, uh, I, I wonder if you are able to simulate the variation of temperature uh, in Proteus instead the variation of uh, radiance. Yes, I have changed uh, the temperature from uh, high to low. Uh, three level, uh, three level uh, situations, conditions. Okay, and how did you uh, do to modulate uh, uh, the to model? Uh, sorry, to model the, the PV panel in Proteus. I utilize uh, isophone uh, seventy five panels. Okay, thank you for your uh, answer. Uh, I, I wonder uh, what, which, which uh, algorithm you have used to, uh, to optimize the PV energy, uh, perturb and observe, or uh, incremental conductance? I utilize three uh, classical techniques, such as P and O, uh, P and O adaptive, and incremental conduct. Uh, okay, and uh, why, why you have uh, 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 used uh, this uh, algorithm instead of other intelligent algorithms such as uh, fuzzy logic controller, neural networks, or uh, metaheuristic algorithm. Because uh, under shading, uh, I'm sure that these algorithms are not operational under yeah. shading effects.
Yes, I'm uh, in future work. I uh, will uh, utilize this uh, okay. this uh, technique. Okay. Many thanks, uh, Mr. Bilhash, for your answer, and I would like to congratulate you another time for uh, the work done. Mr. Saad, I inform you that Mr. Isaka he is returning back. Okay. Many thanks, uh, Professor Aziz. Uh, I will check if there is any question for Mr. Isaka. <clears throat> uh, firstly, I would like to congratulate uh, Mr. Isaka for the, the video and the work done. Uh, and uh, for me, I have a question uh, about uh, the use uh, of uh, digital technologies such as um, machine learning in order to to estimate, uh, in order to uh, analyze and analyze and uh, estimate the influence of grid availability on the energy production for your system. Uh, if we can use uh, Machine learning uh, in order to uh, to estimate uh, and analyze the influence of grid avi uh, availability on the energy production of your system. You can talk, Mr. Isaka. Mr. Isa, you can talk. Hello. 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 Good morning. How are you? Good. Good morning. Thank you for your uh, invitation to this uh, presentation. Uh, the connection is uh, not good here. What is uh, the, the question? My question is uh, is not a question, but it is a, a recommendation. Uh, I, I wonder if it is possible to use machine learning in order to analyze and uh, estimate the influence of grid availability on the energy production of your system, which is uh, seven megawatt uh, solar photovoltaic plants. It, it, it is not it is not uh, possible it's not, it's not, uh, okay why possible. Right. because the <coughs> we take the the availability of the grid uh, by scada okay thank you so you have used scada and I uh, yes. think that uh, you can uh, uh, use it in order to to find uh, the good results uh, for uh, your system. Okay. Uh, yes. I, I will check if there is any question for you from our participants. Okay. Okay. No problems. Okay. okay. I think there is there is no question for you. So I. Uh, another time, I congratulate you for the work and uh, the video. And uh, now I will uh, start a discussion of uh, the second uh, video entitled Evolution of Electrical Networks Towards Smart Grid. Therefore, I wonder if uh, Miss Sakina uh, is uh, still available. Yes, I'm here. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. You are very welcome, uh, Ms. Sakina. And uh, Thank you. I would like to congratulate you for uh, the, the work done and uh, the video. Also, Thank you very much. The, the, the performance, congratulations. Uh, my question is about uh, the use of uh, Digital technologies in uh, in your uh, system. What do you think 
uh, about uh, what is the, the best uh, method uh, of digital technologies which we can use in your system and uh, uh, improve the performance of uh, it. Uh, can, um, please, can you repeat, repeat uh, the question? Of course. Uh, I, I wonder what is the best method of digital technologies such as blockchain, Internet of Things, machine learning, embedded system, which we can use in your system in order to improve uh, its uh, performance? Mm -hmm. Firstly, in this uh, in this work, uh, I uh, I give a view about uh, evolution of network electric uh, to smart grid uh, through the time, but in the future, I uh, I hope to to try uh, uh, to try uh, using. Using, using, uh, using uh, uh, some of this uh, method uh, in the, to improve uh, uh, yes. for the, to improve. Um, uh, yes, I understand you, Miss Sakina. And what do you think? Which is the best one to use in your system? Um, After. Uh, doing this uh, this review uh, what is your conclusion um, which is the best one to use in order to improve uh, the performance of your system uh, uh, i think that i uh, i try to to use uh, the security of um, security uh, uh, of security system, system. Uh, yes uh, i think uh, in order to improve the security of your system, you, you have to use blockchain technologies. And uh, um, this is the, the hot topic uh, right now. And uh, I think if you work uh, on blockchain, you will find a good result and uh, you can uh, uh, find uh, uh, some good conclusion. So uh, another time, I would like to thank you for your video and uh, uh, your uh, answer to my uh, question. I will check if there is any question for you. I think uh, no. Uh, so I will uh, start this question for uh, the first uh, video, pre-treatment solar drying of uh, truffle. And uh, uh, I wonder if uh, Mr. Zakaria is uh, still available. Perhaps is not available. So um, after uh, starting the, the, the last set of videos, I will give uh, the floor to Professor Zaz to show you our uh, virtual exhibition. In the chat, I shared the link for the virtual exhibition, but... Uh, uh, a visit, it would be shown by, by Mr. Zas. Many thanks, Professor Atazis. <clears throat> and now we will present uh, virtual boots, the virtual exhibition. We have uh, two, two, two buttons. Welcome boot and exhibition hall. In the welcome boot, as in real uh, exhibitions, we have we have in the entrance of the of the main entrance of the the, the, the exhibition we have the reception boot, reception desk. In this reception, we can and certain certain information related to all exhibitors. For example, we can. Uh, we click on Discover Us. We have Welcome to IRSEC. We give you an overview of, of IRSEC. 
we, we have a chat with our advisor. We can go directly to the advisor of the, the, the boots and we can chat directly with advisor text chats and we can use also video chats. If I want to ask some things uh, or some uh, ask for information about the, the exhibition. We can also use uh, our uh, ask for our social networks, mail us or document to, uh, document to download. For example, uh, normally in, the, in this kind of desk, we can find a list of exhibitors. The list of exhibits can be found there. This is the book manual of this of exhibitors that give us an overview about all exhibitors of this of this exhibition. You can also go to videos and you can see videos about videos about uh, the organi organization. You have also a gallery, you can see gallery of photos. Gallery of photos. After the reception desk, we can go to the exhibition hall. In the exhibition hall, we, can, we are normally in this in this uh, exhibition. We have two halls. The first one, we can we find six companies. We can choose, for example, that one, clean energy. We click on it, and we go to to see. There is some connection problem. We go to another to another grass in the green. Reception. There is a connection problem in the that, but the, hmm. okay, now it's working. Discover us. We can we can find. We can talk with the advisor of uh, of this boot. Can chat chat directly with it with it. Hello. Or we can use voice chat with the the boot advisor. You can also see videos about this company. Usually galleries and and so on. But we can see photos about this exhibitor. Always we can't go to exhibition to exhibition hall. We go to the second hall. For example, with, uh, this boot of university 
and six university discover us many videos about this university clusters of excellence Founded for research and development, the university is pursuing an ambitious agenda that addresses economic and social challenges facing Morocco as well as the continent of Africa as a whole. The Mohammed VI Polytechnic Uni There is a gallery. I think the gallery is empty for this mine. You can chat with the advisor of this website, of this wood. You can uh, send an email and so on. The same thing there for different company, we can do the same thing. Thank you very much and hope you uh, present conference. I give the floor to Professor Mr. Mutahar to continue presentations. Many thanks, Professor Zar, for this uh, presentation. Uh, sure, uh, virtual uh, exhibition is uh, very interesting. So now we will start the last set of videos. I ask Professor Abdelaziz to give me the control in the presentation. So now we will start uh, the last uh, set of videos, which include uh, four videos and we will start by uh, the first one entitled assessment of uh, the correlation between pv module performance and uh, meteorological parameters presented by mr mustafa adar you are welcome now we will start the second video Entitled Active Power Filters with Grid Connected PV System, presented by Mr. Amin Masoud. You are welcome, Mr. Amin. Now we will uh, start the next presentation. Entitled Modeling of Charging and the Discharging of a Fleet of PV Using Partial Differential Equations. Presented by Mr. Kamal Rashid. Now, now we will start the, the last video. The last video is uh, entitled Energy Efficiency Enhancement in Visible Light Communication System. Presented yeah. by uh, Mr. Sabir Abdelhujou. So, <laughs> We will start discussion of this uh, set of videos. And uh, uh, I will start uh, with the second video. Uh, therefore, I wonder if uh, Mr. Amin is uh, still available. Yes, I'm here with you, sir. Uh, you are uh, welcome, uh, Mr. Amin. Uh, and firstly, I would like to congratulate you for uh, for the the work done and uh, the presentation. Thank uh, you, sir. Uh, I have uh, firstly, I I, I invite uh, all participants to post uh, their question about uh, the this uh, set of videos. And uh, within for your question, I will start by me. Uh, my question is about uh, a, a claim uh, that you have uh, mentioned uh, during your uh, video that uh, the, the, the control method that you have used is uh, easy to be um, implemented. Therefore, I, I, yeah. I, I ask uh, you if you have uh, already started the, the, the activity or the implementation uh, step of, uh, for your uh, system. Uh, for now, we didn't yet start. We are uh, finishing the theor theoretical uh, part, and uh, in the next uh, few days, we will uh, start uh, the practical. Okay. And we didn't uh, yet start. Okay, I understand you. Uh, 
but how did you know that uh, uh, the selected method is easy to be implemented? Uh, we we did uh, a small comparison between uh, different methods, uh, and we found that this one is uh, the easiest compared to 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 other ones because uh, mainly because of its uh, numbers of uh, sensors, for example, because uh, it needs uh, less uh, inputs to 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 get a, a better output. Uh, yes, I understand you, uh, and uh, which. Uh... Uh, with the, which method do you have uh, compared uh, your uh, selected method? For example, the P, P and Q uh, method. P and Q method. Okay, many thanks for your uh, answer, uh, Mr. Amin. I will check if uh, there is any question for you. Okay. I think there is no question. Uh, that means that your video is very clear to our participants. Uh, so Thank you so much, Dr. Sad. You are very welcome. And I wish you all the best for uh, your uh, next uh, future works, inshallah. Thank you, and uh, now I will start discussion for uh, for the third video in, with the Mr. Asabir. Therefore, I wonder if Mr. Asabir is still available with us. Thank you, Mr. Asabir. So uh, firstly, I would like to congratulate you for uh, your presentation and uh, the work done, and uh, also, uh, also the, uh, the subject in which you work. Um, during your uh, your uh, presentation, you have uh, mentioned that there is a uh, you have a multi-objective problem between uh, the bandwidth and the, the energy efficiency. Therefore, I wonder why you have you, you have not uh, you didn't use uh, an algorithm, a multi-objective algorithm such as uh, partial swap optimization or uh, BAT algorithm or Grewolf algorithm. Uh, Mister Asabir, did you understand me? My question is for uh, Mr. Asabir for the third uh, presentation entitled Energy Efficiency Enhancement in uh, Visible Light Communication System. Perhaps it is not uh, available. So uh, we will uh, start uh, discussion for another video. And, uh, I will uh, choose the first video entitled Assessment of the Correlation Between PV Module Performance and Meteorological Parameter. Before I wonder if uh, um, Mr. Mustafa Dar is uh, still available. I think that's... Uh, he has a connection problem, but Mr. Kamal Rashid is uh, available. Therefore, I will start uh, Mustafa, the, the video. Mustafa Adar. We, oui, I am available. Mustafa Adar, you are uh, available. Uh, so thank you. You are welcome. Uh, so firstly, I would like to congratulate you for uh, the presentation, which is uh, well organized and uh, well uh, done. My Thank question: you. I have just one question. Which which tool you have used to for your assessment? Matlab similar. R R language. Okay. R language. 
And why you have uh, selected the R language instead of Python or another language? Because uh, principal component analysis is very easy in R and uh, very exact. Thank it you. gives uh, good uh, good results. Okay, uh, thank you for your uh, for this information. Um, otherwise, I will check if there is any question for you. Okay. Uh, I I think there is no question for your video. That means that uh, your presentation was very very clear. Uh, so I, I would like to thank you another time for uh, your participation and I congratulate you for uh, your work and uh, I wish you all the best thank for you. your next pleasure. work, uh, Mr. Mustafa Abba. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be with you. Many thanks, uh, Mr. Mustafa. So now I will start discussion for the last video entitled Modeling of uh, Charging and Discharging of a Fleet of uh, POVM using Partial Differential Equation with Mr. Uh, Kamel Rashid, I think uh, is uh, available. Oui, je suis là. Uh, you are very welcome, Mr. Rashid. And uh, firstly, I would like to congratulate you for your work. And uh, 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 I, I, I will check if there is any question for you in uh, uh, question, answer, section of Zoom tool. I think there is no question. Uh, therefore, I will start uh, by me. Uh, and uh, I, I wonder, <coughs> sorry, I wonder if you, you, you have already started the implementation of your uh, system, the build of your system. Si vous permettez, j'aimerais bien vous poser la question français. D'accord. D'accord, pas de souci. Donc, euh, si. j'ai vérifié, je n'ai pas trouvé de questions pour vous euh, dans la section qui est R de l'outil Zoom. Du coup, je, je me permets de vous poser euh, quelques questions et lancer une discussion avec vous. Euh, la première question, euh, je me demande si vous avez déjà commencé la réalisation, de, la réalisation réelle de votre système après la modélisation. Oui, donc pour, nous, nous avons commencé par la modélisation. Oui. Donc la modélisation mène à une équation à dérivée partielle de premier ordre de type hyperbolique. Et nous avons montré que la solution ou bien l'équation, il est donc il s'agit d'un problème de coucher qui est bien posé, c'est-à-dire la stabilité existante et ensuite la solution. Puis nous avons passé à la à la discrétisation. Donc nous avons démontré le problème d'utiliser euh, admis solution unique en utilisant ce qu'on appelle la méthode euh, Theta Schema. Donc la, 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 la méthode, ça consiste c'est une combinaison convexe d'une méthode implicite et explicite dans la. Nous avons démontré que la, 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 on utilise cette méthode que la solution numérique converge vers la solution exacte. Et nous avons passé à la simulation, donc nous, nous avons euh, exécuté pas mal de simulations en vérifiant ces, ces, euh, ces, les données que nous avons. Et vous avez utilisé quel outil pour la simulation Ou bien plusieurs outils euh, Matlab. Matlab, Matlab Simulink. Oui. Est-ce que vous comptez valider par la suite vos, vos résultats en utilisant une implémentation réelle en, en prenant par exemple un cas, un, un cas, par exemple, dans lequel, un cas réel dans lequel on a besoin euh, d'une telle solution comme la solution que vous avez proposée et vous essayez de, de valider votre, votre méthode. Est-ce que vous comptez faire ça par la suite, Inch'Allah Inch'Allah, Inch'Allah. D'accord. Donc nous avons, Inch'Allah, euh, nous avons euh, des travaux sur le, le contrôle et, la, et les, les, les observateurs. Donc on, a, on a trouvé pas mal des observateurs euh, en utilisant euh, des contrôles aussi. Euh, oui, je, 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 j'ai bien compris. Vous pouvez utiliser l'anglais, vous pouvez l'anglais, s'il vous plaît. Utilisez l'anglais pour tous les attendants, s'il vous plaît, pour tous les attendants. Ok. Utilisez l'anglais, s'il vous plaît, pour tous les attendants, s'il vous plaît. Ok, professeur Zaz. Je pense que juste... 
uh, for a better communication with uh, uh, Dr. Kamel. We have uh, used French. So now we will, uh, I think, if there is any uh, no question, I will check if there is no question. Uh, so our workshop, uh, I think that our workshop comes to, to its end. Uh, so I will see you, uh, I will wish you all the best for your next work and I see you in the next uh, edition of uh, AirSec conference. The next edition of AirSec conference, sorry. Thank you, Mr. Saad. No, if someone has a question, he can raise his or her hand. No questions? Excuse me, you, uh, for all participants, if you, you can find in the chat, in the chat, you can find links of all videos uh, of this session, if this session are available on YouTube. You can find the link in the chat.